السلام عليكم اليوم بهذا الفيديو راح اكمل لكم الجزء الثاني من موضوع الاورو فيشال بين in this part i will talk about what's the meaning of neurology and what's the most common type of neurology in this video i will talk about regional neurology glossopharyngeal neurology postherpetic neurology and occipital neurology we can define neurology as a stabbing pain or shooting pain electrical like pain in the course of the nerve it can be caused by damage the nerve itself and may be severe pain neurology the cause of neurology many causes of neurology the cause of neurology cause of this shooting pain such as compressing of the nerve by vessel due to the microvascular abnormality or compressing of the nerve by any pathological disease such as cystic lesion or tumor this is the most common cause of neurology this shooting pain or electrical like pain the most common type of neurology triangular neurology triangular neurology we can define it as unilateral pain painful disorder that characterized by brief shock brief electrical shock like pain it's upright in onset and termination and it's limited to distribution one or more division of triangular nerve. As we remember, triangular nerve have three divisions. Ophthalmic division, maxillary division, and deeper division. Ophthalmic division, rarely, triangular nerve and ophthalmic division, most commonly in the maxillary division and then mandibular division. It's a product by talking, eating, or touching specific area called Trigger zone, as seen in this picture. This is along the course of nerve. Touching this area along the division of the regional nerve cause severe pain or the shooting pain. The trigger factor or the stimulating factor of this pain. Touching, washing of the face, shaving, teeth cleaning, also cold or breeze, eating, talking, application of cosmetic, or lotion, all these are trigger factor of tarantula neurology. Clinical feature Location The pain is unilateral with only 3% of the incidence along the course of the affected nerve, along the course of tarantula nerve. Tarantula nerve division Maxillary mandibular ophthalmic rally. This tarantula neurology occur in older age above 50 years. If it occurs in younger age, the most common cause in younger age, cystic lesion or tumor. Most commonly a tumor. Tumor compress the nerve and cause this shooting pain. Also another cause, microvascular abnormality. But, but in younger age, most common cause lesion or a tumor, most commonly. Characteristic of this pain, electrical shock like shooting or stabbing pain. It is sharp inequality. Duration Each attack lasts between a few seconds and two minutes, but can be rapidly followed by a new attack. As seen in this picture, patients suffer maybe up to 100 times per day. This pain attack 5 to 10 seconds, and then follow by a new attack, maybe reach 100 times per day. Severe shooting pain unilaterally also triangular neurology we can confuse it can be confused by another pain such as pain due to the dental cause such as the cracked tooth because patient with a cracked tooth also suffer from shooting pain we can differentiate between them that's triangular neurology pain triggered by touching the soft tissue while in the Dental cause due to the cracked tooth, pain triggered by touching the teeth or biting on the teeth. This is the distinguish between dental cause and uh, tangible neurology, the shooting pain in these. Investigation of tangible neurology. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging technique, is the most common investigation technique or diagnostic technique to see what's the cause if there is any cystic lesion or any tumor 
compress the nerve or any microvascular abnormality as seen in this picture vessel compress the nerve and cause this shooting pain electrical pain as seen in this picture microvascular abnormality vessel compress the nerve and cause this pain treatment of trigeminal neurology carbamazepine tigrol is the most common used drug it's effective about 85% of a newly diagnosed patient. Also, up to 80% of patients can be relieved by this drug, completely or partially. But this drug has side effects, such as diarrhea, drowsiness, dryness of the mouth, vomiting, all these, all these side effects. So, small doses can be given gradually and then raised until the pain relieved. Because of its side effect, we prescribe to the patient a small dose, 100 mg, and then increase gradually until the pain relieved because of its side effect. Also, if the patient cannot tolerate or cannot, cannot tolerate the, the side effect of carbamazepine or don't respond to the carbamazepine, another drug, baclofen and gabapentin, also effective. Surgical treatment. In the case that the patient not respond to the drug, there is also a surgical option or surgical treatment for trigeminal neurology. I see in this picture. This is the cryotherapy. Cryotherapy meaning freezing the nerve to, to prevent this shooting pain. Freezing the nerve by inserting a needle or probe in the tissue near the course of the affected nerve. This frees the nerve. Give temperature, freezing the nerve, to deaden the irritated nerve, so the irritated nerve can be relieved. This is the cryotherapy technique. Another surgical technique, microvascular decompression. Because one of the cause of neurology, compress of the artery or the vessels by the nerve. Nerve compressed by artery or vessel because of microvascular deformity or abnormality. This surgical technique out brain stem in the skull and the area of the brain stem in the back of the skull to relieve this pressure to prevent this pressure by the vessel we put in this surgery bud or sponge between the artery and the affected nerve just range my nerve to prevent this pressure so the irritated nerve relieved also, another surgical procedure, but it's temporary, last hours. Injection of glycerol alcohol in this area of the affected nerve. As seen in this picture, this injection relieve the pain for hours. This is temporary treatment. Another type of neurology, glossopharyngeal neurology. This is rare condition. It's characterized by pain similar to that of trigeminal neurology, but the pain in the pharynx and the ear and infraocular region, as seen in this picture. The pain is sharp and transit, typically triggered by swallowing, chewing, or coughing. This is the stimulating factor or the trigger factor of this of this glossopharyngeal neurology. It may be so severe that the patient may be terrified to swallow their saliva and try to keep the mouth and tongue as completely immobile as possible. This is the rare neurology. We can distinguish it from other neurology by putting, putting topical anesthesia. Topical anesthesia in the pharyngeal area. The pain relieved in this area. So distinguish it from other neuro neurology. Shooting pain in the pharyngeal area in the infraocular area, in the mandible. Patient try to swallow their saliva because of the severe pain. The most common cause of this neurology is tumor in this area, in pharyngeal area. Also, maybe microvascular abnormality compress vessels to the nerve and cause the severe shooting pain. Treatment of this neurology, also the same as tangible neurology, carbamazepine and diclofen. 
Another analogy was herpetechnology. Post herpetechnology. Lithology and pathogenesis of this. Neology. Herpes zoster shingle. As we know, herpes zoster shingle is caused by reactivation of Latin bacillus zoster virus. Herpes zoster shingle or my summa will hazam in nari. You couldn't know. Reactivation of Latin bacillus zoster. This results in both pain and vascular lesion. As seen in this picture, vascular lesion in the skin and also can lead to the pain along the course of the affected nerve. This is the herpes zoster shingle. Herpes zoster shingle, the majority of this disease lasts for one month. And then the pain disappear. If it is for more than one month, maybe more than one month, maybe years, if this Pornoged, the pain pornoged, this called post-herpetic neurology. Clinical manifestation of this neurology. Patient with post-herpetic neurology may experience of persistence pain, paresthesia, paresthesia meaning burning sensation, burning sensation pain or electrical pain, hyperesthesia, hyperesthesia meaning pain, Patient suffer with pain increased to the stimuli, pain increased to the stimuli. And allodynia means that the patient suffer from pain or pain increased, but the stimuli not cause pain, such as touch, touching to the skin, simple touching to the skin, cause severe pain. This meaning of allodynia. This month to years after the zoster lesion have been healed, the pain is often accompanied by sensory deficit. The treatment of the post herpetic technology to prevent the post herpetic technology during the herpes shingles virus during the herpes shingle virus patients suffer with herpes shingles virus as i we uh, as i say in the previous slide the pain of this disease or the disease healed by one month if bonus is post herpetic technology to prevent this neurology to prevent pain lasts for more than one month the best therapy is the prevention. In prevention, during the herpes shingle virus, the use of antiviral drug, particularly famicyclovir, with short course of systemic corticosteroid during the acute phase of the disease. Also, another treatment used tricyclic antidepressant during the acute phase of herpes zoster. This reduces the incidence of post-herpetic neurology. So, the best treatment is the prevention. Prevention of this shooting pain after the herpes shingle virus. If the patient suffer from post herpetic neurology, treatment includes topical and systemic. Topical use of topical anesthesia, such as lidocaine. Also, systemic, systemic by using tricyclic antidepressant, amitriptyline, or gabapentin if the patient cannot tolerate the side effect of tricyclic antidepressant, also carbamazepine or phenotene for the patient to undergo episode of shooting pain. If the patient suffers shooting pain, carbamazepine or phenotene. This is the most effective drug for post-herpetic neurology. Pulse palsy. I will talk about pulse palsy, a small idea about uh, pulse palsy. Because the cause of this pulse palsy, the same of the neurology. Pulse palsy is the condition that causes a temporary weakness or paralysis of the muscle in the face. Because the facial nerve is affected, that control our facial muscle become inflamed, or swollen, or compressed by blood vessel. So the cause is the same of neurology. A nerve compressed by vessel, or inflamed, or swollen, and cause this pain or this paralysis because facial nerve the seventh carrier nerve that control our facial muscle and our facial expression so if it is inflamed due to the any cold infection by two weeks after the cold infection or any viral infection the most common cause of this pulse will see the viral infection any viral infection affect the nerve can cause paralysis of one side of the face 
on the affected nerve on the affected side cause unilateral paralysis as seen in this picture the condition cause side of your face to drop or become stiff and may have difficulty to smiling closing the eye in the affected side and it's temporary and symptom usually go away after a week weeks a few weeks as seen in this picture inability to wrinkle bro dropping the eyelid inability to close the eye inability to buff the cheek dropping the mouth because facial nerve control all these action so if it's even inflamed or compress can cause paralysis unilaterally etiology the most common etiology viral infection also after ear infection severe ear infection can cause an inflamed of the facial nerve the most common viral infection herpes simplex virus hiv virus herpes zoster virus and epstein virus this is the most common viral infection can cause an inflamed facial nerve and cause pulse palsy the treatment of pulse palsy a short course, two to three weeks of high dose of the steroid is beneficial to reduce the inflammation. Also, a cyclovir, because the most common cause of viral infection, cyclovir can reduce the duration of the pain. Also, for reduce of the pain, severity of the pain, ibuprofen or acetaminophen can be also relieved. Also, the patient suffer from pulse palsy, suffer also from dry eye, so the eye drop also is very effective in the treatment. Home treatment, home treatment, any eye patch for dry eye. As seen in this picture, also a warm, as seen in this picture, also a warm, moist towel over the face, facial massage, physical therapy, exercise to stimulate the facial muscle. All of these is the home treatment. A company with the treatment is also very effective to heal from this pulse palsy. إلى هذا السلايد كملتكم الجزء الثاني من هذا الموضوع وإن شاء الله راح أكمل لكم الجزء الثالث بالفيديو الجاي أتمنى استفاديتم من هذه المحاضرة شكرا لحسن استماعكم